losers. I see. So those first games where it's a one and zero, mm -hmm. that's just to put people into losers. That's smart. In the way they did it. So round two is technically round one. We just haven't updated Best Nessus score. But we're actually going to start now. Sword Wario being TSS. I don't know what the tag means, but I don't know. It's kind of funny. And then uh, a lot of hopping for his main of Rob. Oh, uh, that miss, platform. Miss facing the up air. That platform threw him off as it was moving to the side. Uh, TSS, the sword roar is going to throw me off. But TSS is doing a good job of kind of just playing a little campy, a little patient. Weaving in and out. Trying to get that, char get that charge. And now he's finally put on some damage. But uh, it's all in good intentions. He knows what he's doing. I don't think he's worried about being behind by 49%. And now he's got that limit. And that makes him a much faster character. He's going to fall faster. He's going to put out more damage. It right. makes him a fast faller, more of a fast faller. So Cloud is for the 15th fall is faster in the game mm -hmm. without limit. The minute he becomes, he, minute he has limit, he becomes mm -hmm. faster. He falls faster. So I mean, he's more combo heavy, I guess. But he, because he moves faster, his movement speed, he just becomes a better character. So a lot of Cloud players will actually get the limit, hold on to it, and not use it because it kind of increases Cloud's stats. Yeah, because it's a buff. Yeah, it is really a buff. Um, and you know, if you ever get knocked off stage, you've got to much uh, better recovery. Yeah. So it's, it's really worth saving unless you have a kill option at around 70% with finishing touch or about 90-ish off stage with uh, cross slash. Limit break cross dash. But uh, TSS oh. doing a good job of bringing this back. He was behind quite a bit and uh, He's hitting hard. going on the offensive. But a great read there yeah. from Lotta. Just landing. This is landing. And a little bit of a dash dance to, I'm proud, I got you right where I want you, TSS. That Nair, man, it's such a good move because yeah. it hits all the way around him and it has a knockback no matter what. But this matchup's interesting because Cloud is so strong, but Rob is so heavy. Like Rob he, is way heavy. One more up air and he will kill him. Um, but with Rob being heavy and stuff, like, but they're both combo heavy characters too. Oh, almost have Rob a also has all his projectiles as well. Yeah, and Cloud's projectile, while it's, it's okay, it doesn't really... He can pick it up and throw it again. Yeah, and Rob's gyro is such a good move. I'm really surprised... Lotta is actually opting to play this just the standard color. Mm -hmm. He could pick the yellow one or uh, the is, red one. Isn't and he baby the gyro blue? would be a little bit harder to see and make it more difficult for TSS. But TSS is going to be like, yeah, I'm going to show you, I'm a better Rob player than you. He just won the, the event uh, down in Boise. Oh, he played in Boise? Yeah, TSS did? With, yeah, with Calculus and Best Oh, Nets. he went with them. And he won first place. And he won first place. I heard it was not a very good tournament for, um, for Best Nets and Calculus, they uh, stand back, but hey, they're gonna do good here, I think, today. So now you'll notice um, when TSS Sword Wario here throws out his gyro, it's gonna be much harder to see because the yellow blends in with Smashville. It does. And it also, um, he'll, he'll pick a different color, like he'll pick red for. Uh, wow, that was a lot of gyro play. The gyro play, man. This, this matchup's entertaining to watch. And those gyros have such like interesting setups because whichever way they throw the gyro or drop it, where Rob's facing is the way that they're going to launch their opponent. Mm -hmm. So they can actually do some really cool um, like setups with up smash. Oh, really? ZS, or, sorry, oh. ZSS. I mean, TSS is really cool. good about reading air dodges. So um, Lotta is just going to have to play mind games and want to jump out of it. Because otherwise, else, if TSS gets the down throw or the up throw to up air, he's got it. He's really good at reading the air dodge. And that's something oh, that Lana actually will struggle with sometimes, is reading those up, those uh, air dodges and baiting them out. That was such a such a long string right there. He, wow. TSS didn't touch the ground forever. Yeah, and then Lana caught him with the up smash to take the stock. Those nares, they're auto canceling yeah. them. I was playing TSS earlier, and he just kept auto canceling those nares. I had no idea what to do. It's such a good move. Yeah, it has like little oh. little lag. Just missed the spike hitbox. Double dunked. Now, TSS, oh. he taught uh, a lot of a little bit of cool tech the other yeah. day um, about Rob. Rob, when he uses his up B, if he throws out a fair, mm -hmm. uh, he can jump again. Wow, so, don't we? Yeah, he, he gets his jump back if he throws out an attack with a B. Not if he gets hit, mm -hmm. but if he still has his jump, he burns his jump, he uses his up B, throws out an attack, he can jump again. It's quite interesting. I, I didn't ever do that with Rob, but. So you'll see, you'll probably see uh, one of these guys, most likely CSS, go to the top of the stage with the up e and probably make it under the stage because Rob is super incredible that way. But Lotta, playing hard here. He yeah. wants to take this match. He's already got one one game. 
he just needs uh, another one to take it, and he's not got a great lead so far. He's going for those risky up smashes. He's, he's got enough of a lead where he can take that. But only a few of them, or he's, that gap's going to get closed yeah, by TSS real quick. With TSS' is rage. The gyros just canceling each other out. <laughs> I was safe. Yeah, he was very safe. He fell back to the platform. I was expecting him to actually grab TSS to get a grab off of Lotto from that. And just suicide. Oh, oh. the gyro set up. So wow. What, so Complex. what happened there is he dropped the gyro um, at the ledge, and then when um, Lotto stood up, the gyro already having a hitbox out because there's a two-frame punish mm -hmm. from getting back onto the ledge before you have invincibility. Hits him, and then it knocks it back just enough to where uh, he can up smash. It, it covers practically every option. It covers know? every option except, except for jumping jump down now. and hitting it. You can't jump, you can't roll, you can't attack it. Well, you can't, no, you can't attack it either because you can still get two frames punished. Because when you grab the ledge mm -hmm. and leave the ledge, there's two frames of vulnerability. So that's a thing. Going to game three. Both players just starting out with lasers. E one going easy low 4%. One going high. <laughs> These players are really even. Um, it's just really going to come down to who gets the better. The better read and uh, plays better. Oh my They're gosh! Both just really good players and <laughs> wow, oh, that is just a cool in. gyro play. Rob Dittos, you don't see this very often, but it's really entertaining. It kind of reminds me of Peach with her uh, um, what do you what do you what do you call Peach's projectile? The turnip. The turnip. It reminds me of that. Just throwing it, catching it, throwing it on Down your opponent, catching it. It's really cool. There's some serious like mind games there with the gyro. Exactly, and it's because they both can do it. It's it's crazy because they can pick up each other's gyro too. Rob's a really cool character. I, I really like him. But we'll probably if uh, if Lana gets a grab, he's gonna have to wait out that air dodge because he's at that percent where this move his upper will kill. Uh, with, but oh TSS. Here we go. Th that's and TSS it. taking the stock on that platform plus Town and City with this low ceiling. Like Lana, you done. Yeah. Now, TSS actually has a lead. He could do some cool uh, attack here with an up throw on the platform. He's setting it up for it. You can see he's just kind of camping there. He yeah. wants Lana to come up there and then do an up throw with the platform moving under them. And it'll take out both of them, but it'll kill Lana first. Yeah. Oh, and the spike, hey. not quite to disjoint, but still doing a lot of damage. Makes an up landing option. He can kill him with up throw at this point. Uh, he can probably even kill him with back throw at the ledge. Um, I mean, a lot of killing stuff. A lot of killing stats. Or closing the stock out. Right now, they're just going for these trades. And uh, because, you know, the, such a high percent for TSS, he's having a hard time just getting back to the stage. But there, a lot, there, there goes go. a lot of catching him with the up air. Catching him with those hands. The thing is, that Rob can chase the other Rob down. It, there's no safe place there on go. the stage. Like you, if you up be, I'll, I'll, I'll be with you. Yeah, he can follow him. Just about even right here. Yeah, it's just gonna. It's these gyros, man. They just keep chucking them at each other. They keep going for those uh, two frame punishes with the the spike hitbox, the down air, but it's it's just not hitting. It would be kind of hype to see that though. One more up air. Uh, like that will close out the stock for TSS on Lada. But, you know, Lada's oh. to that percent too, or he can do it. They've just got to play patient. Game three, they're probably both really stressed right now. <laughs> Throwing his arms, punching. Those down totes, man. It's such a cool move. No lag. Oh. oh. And that That's will it. close it. That's Good job on Lada. Oh, and I can the, hear with his the girlfriend. Taunt. Yeah. And with a taunt. And there's his girlfriend cheering for him. Well, congrats to Lada for winning.